Hey everyone, Mitch here. I just wanted to make a quick Gold City Ventures ePrintables Side Hustles course review for you. That is a mouthful. I just finished up the course and it is a doozy. So I just want to show you what the course is like, give you a sneak peek on what it actually looks like, and then talk about uh, what I did like and what I didn't like about the course. And hopefully it helps you decide if the course is the right decision for you or not. I'm gonna to try to give an unbiased, honest look at the course here because the truth is it's not for everybody. But that said, I am an affiliate for this course and this took forever to put together. So if you do decide it's right for you and you wanna say thanks Mitch, you can sign up using my affiliate link down in the description below. All right, so let's jump into the course here. We'll start with the main course, which is the ePrintables course, and then we'll move on to the bonuses, which includes another bonus course. But the main course is the ePrintables course, and this is basically everything you need to get up and off the ground, um, pretty much starting from zero. So if you don't have any graphic design experience, you don't have any ideas or anything, it'll take you and it will show you exactly how to get your store running and how to get your first sales going. Um, and then the bonuses, which I'll cover later, go into more advanced things to start scaling your business even higher. And so in this ePrintables course, this is what the main dashboard looks like. These are all the different modules. And it, first it starts um, talking about what you should sell. The main goal of this course is to get you up and running as fast as possible and just to launch. Their, their model is to launch things and then you can tweak it later on because if you try to figure everything out and master everything before you take any action, then you probably won't take any action at all. And so their goal here is to get you up and running as fast as possible, and then you can tweak and perfect things from there. So they start by giving you different ideas, talking about trends, seasonal trends that you can jump on, um, which is something different compared to other courses is they focus a lot on these trends and keyword research and not just, you know, making whatever you think will do good, but actually looking at the data. Um, so here going down into some of the other modules, uh, first it gives you like a primer overview on graphic design. And so if you know nothing about graphic design, you can learn at least the basics about fonts and graphics. And they also, I don't know if it's in these lessons or later on, but they also cover some really important thing, legal aspects to this business because there's a lot of different laws regarding fair use and copywriting and what you can use and what you can't use. And that stuff can get uh, kind of confusing. And so, and it's also a little bit uh, dangerous because if you use it the wrong way, you can get in trouble. And so they cover all of those things. And so you know from the beginning that you're not making any legal mistakes. And after you cover the basic graphic design, then they have all a full tutorial on Canva, which is um, a software that you can use for free. There's a paid and a free version, but you can start for free. They give you a full tutorial on how to learn Canva um, and design different things. And then underneath all of these other ones, uh, let me click in here, uh, for example, once you get into these, then they'll give you tutorials on how to make specific printables that you can list on your store. So there's a video that goes in deep into exactly how to make the printable. And then down at the bottom, they give you a template here where you can use their base, base template and then tweak it and make it your own and then just list it on your site. So this is great for for brand new people who or people who maybe aren't as creative and can't think of the ideas and make things up out of nothing they'll at least have a base to start on and then you can um, make it your own from there which will save you a lot of time and so that's kind of what the inside of each lesson looks like there's a video and um, sometimes there's also text beneath and different resources that you can use and i would say normally the videos uh, last between five and 20 ish minutes long. Maybe the average is 10 or 15 minutes each. And so here on the left side of the screen, they give you all these tutorials on how to make things in Canva for free. And then for other people who want to use a different program called Adobe Illustrator, which is a paid program, and you can do some more things in there, you can um, take those as well. I didn't take those classes just because I like Canva better anyways. 
And then they talk about editable printables, which is a different type of printable you can list on your Etsy store where instead of the customer ordering something exactly how they order it, they can order something that's customizable. So for example, if you had, if you made a printable for wedding invitations, they could order the, the wedding invitations and then they could customize the names on each one. And so these videos show you the programs and tutorials on exactly how you can make the editable ones and it talks about, you can see here, it talks about licenses because um, that gets a little bit tricky with the copyrights as well when you're creating things that are editable. And if you're using, for example, um, a graphic that you bought somewhere else in your design, uh, you might have to be careful what you can use exactly in your design if other people are gonna be reusing it after that. So here are all the videos on how to do editable printables and then it talks about packaging your printables and from here on out after it gives you all the tutorials on how to make them and the graphic design side of things then it starts going into how to actually set up your store and list all the different products that you made so there's a whole module on listing your images and how to make your listing images and making the backgrounds and making them eye popping so they they stand out in canva and they're pretty so people click click on them and and look at them and um, it talks there's a whole guide on opening your shop and listing your products setting your prices doing product research and yeah the whole next the whole next module is keyword research which is probably i would say one of the most important modules um, because you're able to find opportunities and see you can work off the data instead of just kind of imagining in your mind thinking oh i think this would be popular with people you can actually look at the data and seeing how many people are searching for a certain type of uh, printable and how many other printables there are so how much competition and so you can find things that have low competition but high searches and these keyword research methods also allow you to kind of niche down to areas where there are less competition and so instead of making you know father's day card printables i think one of their examples in here was um during during the keyword research they found out that a better keyword might be first father's day cards because less there's less printables and less competition and someone who's looking for a first father's day printable if they type that in and you're the only one that matches that exactly they're going to buy your printable so that's just one example then um, we get down into marketing and advertising they talk about how to set up coupons and sales <clears throat> how to run ads to get your printables promoted on top of the other ones how to use pinterest to also promote your pins and then from here on out, it's all about optimizing and filling out your shop so it looks pretty and professional. Common traps, this is a really big one because they've, they've been working with thousands of students now so they can see the common mistakes that students make. And I would say just knowing these mistakes alone can save you tons of time and um, I'm all about saving time. Then they go into looking at your Etsy analytics and your stats and how to make decisions on what new printables to make based on those analytics and Google analytics and so there's tons of different information for optimizing your shop here it's not just you create something and then throw it up on Etsy and hope it sells um, here there's there's some information on finding your niche which is one of the hardest parts of starting some people get stuck because they just don't know what niche to do and there's also a lot more of these in the the bonus area that I'm going to show you in a second then there's at the Etsy sellers app that's just a really super quick module and then at the very end here they have these bonus sections which are really interesting because the the ePrintables course itself focuses on making your printables listing them on Etsy and that's your business but there are actually way more things that you can do and way more strategies where you can be making money here and so for example this whole video is on um, creating your digital product and then launching it to an email list there's another one that's about how to sell it on your blog. There's other ones about how to how to set up an, a, a Shopify site and drive traffic to, to your Shopify site. And um, here's a membership. Uh, another one of the stu one of the students of this class ended up creating a membership program and is doing really well. And so there's a bunch of different strategies, extra strategies, to do that you can think about. And then the last bonus section here is just some tutorials on other types of programs um, that you could potentially use. 
These are basically alternative options. You don't have to use these ones, but they just added them at the end in case you're interested in using those ones. And so that's the main Etsy course. And like I said, it's enough to get you off the ground and getting your first sales, which is the main goal. But in addition to the main course, when you sign up, you get a one month access to their VIP membership, which includes a whole entire other course, which I think is actually bigger than the main course. It has more, more lessons in it than the main course. And this is where you really can take things to the next level and start different advanced tactics and I'll show you real quick everything that they have here but basically you get one month free access to this and after that you can decide if you would like to continue the, um, the membership or not it's not required at all to be successful on Etsy but as you'll see there's tons of awesome things here and the cool thing is this 100 sales club if you continue to be a member and you reach 100 sales then from there on out they they waive your fee and you can be a member for life and receive everything that the the members get for life and not have to pay and i think they also send you a prize in the mail when you hit your 100 sales club so this is just an extra motivation to get working and not pro not procrastinate and get off the ground as fast as possible so in the members club you um, get free templates every month in the main ePrinter Bliss course, you do get a few free templates to get you started, but with the membership, you get new ones every single month, and you can even request specific templates that you want them to make for you. And so if you're super short on time and you don't have time to be designing things from scratch all the time, you could hypothetically just wait for the new templates to come out every single month, and then tweak them to make your own, add them to your shop, and have more things for sale on your shop. And so you get the free templates. They also have weekly office hours here where you can get live help on your store or on your graphic design or anything like that. And this is all in the Facebook group, which I'll get to in a second. And so here are the, the templates for September. And I'll just give you an example here. Like this is the year in review template. And you can click on it here. This is the one for, for Canva. And so this is just an example of one room. So they made this for you and then you can just tweak it and make it your own. Um, it's multiple pages here. And so this is probably a good template um, around December time because people are reviewing their year and remembering all their memories. And so someone probably requested that around December time. Yeah, but there's a bunch of, yep, there's uh, Thanksgiving and recipe books and so fitness planners. And so those were the templates for September, but they change every month. Then there's some there's some extra lessons here if you just want to get to know the teachers more, Julie and Cody, which is kind of interesting to hear about their other projects, how they got started, how long it took them, their their struggles and mistakes on the way. Those are, are a little bit insightful. And what I really liked are these these competitor shop analysis. Basically, they went out and found a bunch of successful Etsy printable shops and they reverse engineered their success so you can see the strategies that they're using to get the success that they have. And so all of these are super valuable and you get a ton of gold nuggets in those. And then they go on to um, more advanced software and tools. Uh, a couple of these are with the actual founders of the software and so they give you some tips for using them to optimize your Etsy store. And then, then we get into advanced keyword research, which is goes way deeper than in the ePrintables course, which is a good thing because if you took all the this advanced stuff in the first course, you would just it'd be like drinking from a fire hose. It'd be it'd be overwhelming. And so they give you just enough to be dangerous and to, to get your shop going. And then from there you can learned these extra methods to get started including deciding what your niche is researching topics different strategies for seo and using different tools to find under deserve keywords and products that you can make then there's extra advanced tips and ideas this is an interesting one here instead of selling to normal consumers, you're creating printables that businesses can use. For example, you might be creating graphics that other sellers could use to put on t-shirts and other things like that. And there's a bunch of different ideas on how you can sell to businesses. And when you do that, you can often charge more than selling just to just normal people. But anyways, you can see there's tons of courses here. This video is probably getting way too long. 
but talks about starting an email list to get your customers off of Etsy and into your own ownership so you can keep marketing to them. It's important to get your customers on an email list because it's way easier to sell to someone who has already bought from you than to sell from someone completely new. I'll just let you read these and scroll down. There's a bunch of different videos. Then we get into more advanced graphic design tips. And when you're just starting, thinking about starting an Etsy printables business, you might not even think about how you have to learn about color theory and how colors look together and different and how to export different types of images, resize images so that customers can buy things in different sizes. And there's a bunch of things that you don't really think about until you start this business and they, they cover pretty much everything you can possibly imagine here. And so then here at the bottom, there's the office hours. They have op graphic design office hours. And so if you're struggling with your graphic design or just want um, expert an expert set of eyes on what you've made to, to get advice on how you can make it better, you can submit it to these office hours and a, a professional graphic designer will look over it and give you live feedback. So then goes into social media and so how to drive more traffic to your Etsy store. A lot of printable sellers use Pinterest to drive traffic to their Etsy listings because Pinterest is where all the printables people tend to hang out. There's also one at the end, a new one about TikTok. And there's a whole module on mindset and self-improvement, which some people might think is not important, but it's super important because when you're starting a new business, it's easy to be overwhelmed. It's easy to overanalyze things and to freeze and to let some stumbling blocks get in your way. And um, these, watching these will help you get through those hard times when you're having them. And so those are good as well. This is just a quick example of one of the students that did an interview on, one, on a student's journey to get to 100 sales and um, what they learned along the way. Then there's tons more videos on monetization. Once you have your graphic design down pat, you have your store, you did your keyword research. Now you can optimize even further by, for example, your copywriting, your images, for example, they have all these videos on sales conversion tips and how students tripled their sales, different tactics and strategies they used to make a higher percentage of the people who land on the shop actually purchase something from your shop. And so it talks more about ads, tons of different strategies here. Then this one here I thought was interesting. He kind of gives some different examples looking at stats from different stores to see if it's realistic to think if you can make $10,000 per month with just 100 products, the conclusion that he comes up with is pretty interesting and so I like that one. And then here at the very end, we have a bunch of guest interviews and presentations and these basically do deep dives into different strategies. Like there's one, like this first one is about how to turn your digital printables into actual physical printables. And so you can double down on the ones that are working and bring them into the real world. There's other ones that focus on digital stickers and digital planners where instead of people printing them out, they put them on their iPad or tablet or whatever and you can make them fillable. This one right here on how to make SEO irrelevant I thought was super interesting because a lot of people will just focus on SEO but what she teaches is, yeah, SEO is important but if you're choosing a product with low demand, it doesn't matter how awesome your SEO is, you need a, a product that actually has demand and so she shares her tips on how to find high demand products. And then this, there's a bunch of other ones, but this last one I also thought was very important. And it's over an hour with a lawyer, basically all the common questions that you'll have um, as an Etsy seller, seller and what to look out for as a lawyer so you don't fall into any traps or anything. All right, and lastly, with that uh, VIP membership, you also, also get access to their Facebook group. And this is a pretty lively group. You can see there's almost 3,000 members here. There were 12 new posts a day, and it's about three in the afternoon where I am, but I might be in a weird time zone. Actually, I'm in Istanbul. <laughs> but there's 78 in the past week, so you can see that it's pretty active. And you can go here and ask your questions. If you have any questions, All the, there's sellers from all different stages and they're happy to help you. Cody and Julie are in there helping. They have moderate moderators in there helping as well. 
They also have the live calls every week where you can go and ask your questions and get live help and feedback. I'm not actually gonna go into the group right now because I don't want to have any privacy issues or anything, but if you wanna see some screenshots that I took from inside the Facebook group, you can check out the blog post review that I did that I'll link below. But basically, while you don't need this membership to be successful on Etsy, they have everything you need in the, the main ePrintables course. If you're serious about it and you're gonna take advantage of the free templates that they give every month and you're gonna take advantage of all the office hours to get help when you run into problems, the extra monthly price that you only have to pay until you reach 100 sales, in my opinion, is, is worth it. But enough about the sneak peek on the course. Now I wanna get into what I did and didn't like about the course. And we'll start with quickly what I did like about the course. And the first is the most important by far, and it kind of negates any negatives that I'm about to say in a second, but it's that it actually works. They have, they found a system and they teach you all the keyword research and everything and their seasonal strategies. They have a bunch of different success stories. I'll link to their page where they have their student success stories if you wanna take a look at them. But with all of this success happening, it's pretty clear that they're on to a good strategy. I also like that they teach how to start from complete scratch. You don't need to have any design experience. You don't need to be a super creative person and you really don't even need that much time each week because they show you exactly how to design what you need to design in Canva. They give you the templates. They train you up from the ground. And so it's pretty much everything you need. I also like how much they focus on using hard data to make the best decisions when you're creating your store. And so you're not just guessing what will work and what will not work. You're choosing things that have a high probability of working. So you don't waste time creating things and trying things that aren't going to work. Next, I like how they cover the theory, but more importantly, they go into tons of specific examples and they show you behind the scenes exactly how they do things. And so they're not just talking in general, this is how you start a printable thing. No, they're going, they're sharing their screen, they're saying, this is how I found my product, this is how I list it here, this is how I did my research, this is how I spied on my competitor. They're showing you behind the scenes exactly what they did, like you're looking over their shoulder, basically. And lastly, I really liked all of the legal stuff because that is something I never would have even thought about starting an Etsy printable store is the licenses and all those different things. And that can be a pretty big pitfall if you don't know what you're doing. And knowing all of these rules ahead of time and not having to worry about breaking any laws or anything can save a lot of time and money and headaches. Okay, now what you've all been waiting for, the things that I didn't like about the course. My first gripe about the course is it seems like they did a lot of their screen recordings on a huge screen and because of that i'm going to try to find you an example here i don't know if this is the best example but because of this you can see like on each side there's tons of space and so i took the course using my 13 inch macbook pro and i had to maximize the screen and i still had to like be squinting at the screen at some times because the text looks really small on my small screen and so that's one gripe i had you can still read everything but it's not as comfortable on the eyes as it could be if if it was a little bit more zoomed in. The second con is that you obviously you have the limited only one month membership of the VIP program. I'm not sure if it's fair to consider that a con against the course because actually it's a bonus <laughs> in addition to the course, but I think it would be better if they let you choose when you want to start the access to that because it starts exactly when you start the course and you're not going to really need those things until you have your store already up and running. And so you're kind of wasting some of that time a little bit. And so it'd be nice if you could start the advanced trainings after you already have your, your store up and running because that's when you actually need that information. That said, they make up for this by offering free membership once you reach the 100 sales club. The next con isn't exactly about the course, but it's about just the business model itself. And that is perhaps a, a fear of market saturation. Their students are having success, but market saturation is something to keep in mind with the business model. That said, after you watch all their keyword research modules, they teach pretty much how to niche down and find things that have zero competition that you pretty much would never think of by yourself. And so that's a way to fight against market saturation, but just something to have in mind. And the last con I have is they have kind of a strict refund policy. I would say it's 
fair but strict. They offer a seven day refund policy, but you can't go past the first module in order to qualify, which on one hand, it makes sense. They don't want people going in and stealing what they created and worked hard on and then asking for a refund. But on the other hand, it kind of forces you to make a decision very early if this is what you want to do or not. That said, I've seen other printables courses that have zero refund policy whatsoever, and so it could be worse. One other thing to mention that is very important is that if this whole printable business idea interests you, but you're not 100% sure and you don't want to commit, they also have some a free workshop and a free ebook available that you can learn more and I'll link to both of those down below and these will kind of help you decide if it's right for you and will help you get off on the right foot. And those are valuable whether you decide to go with the course or not. And so I'll link to those. And I hope you found this review helpful. And if you did find it useful and you want to say thanks and support the channel, you can sign up using my link in the description below. Doing this will be no extra cost to you. It'll support the channel and part of it goes to the GiveWell Charities Maximum Impact Fund. All right, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.